why would you or someone else that you know be resisting change? And when I'm talking about change, you can think of it like this. You can think of it as you have a goal, you have something in your heart that you really want to manifest, things that feel really joyful and fun and, and happy, and yet you don't move towards it. It's what you want, but why are you not moving towards it? On a conscious level, you're like, I'm going for it. This is what I want. This is what I have always wanted in my life. But on a subconscious level, there are parts of you that are resisting, that are scared of the changes. And they don't know any better. So what ends up happening is you're at a still, you're at an impasse. You're not feeling like you can move forward or you're feeling stuck or you don't know how to move forward. And that's what I mean by that resistance to change. We want an inspired and empowered life. I really believe we all want an inspired and empowered life. So what is going on inside of you or your clients that would keep you from being able to either help yourself move forward or to help your clients move forward and create the changes that you both seek. And so what it's, what's really important is to remember that you may want these things consciously but like I said before, on an unconscious or subconscious level, there are parts of you or aspects of you that are really shut down. There is resistance. And really, the word resistance to me is all about fear. And it's really the fear of change. How many times have you said to yourself or you've heard a client or someone else say, well, the familiar is better than the unfamiliar because the familiar is what you already know. Now, you may not want the familiar. You want the better. You want to move towards what you really want. But the familiar is the easy pattern. It's the default. And what happens is we go into default. We go into those default patterns and you end up staying stuck or you end up unable to move forward to make the changes that you see. And so I'm going to be talking more about the ways that you can keep moving forward tools that you can use to help go deeper, to help you understand yourself or your clients in deeper ways so that you can then start changing your life and changing the lives of your clients. And no, this is powerful, deep, and profound work. And when you can make those deeper changes and clients or you start looking at your life and saying, yes, this is what I want. This is the life I've been waiting for. And I really want you to know that you can do it. You can make those changes and you can help clients make those changes as well that it's within you, you have the ability, and this is about you being able to learn what you need to know in order for you to make the changes in yourself and your clients.